Tommy Shovel, and I'm broadcasting live from CNN Studios in New York City. I wish to relay information regarding a serious outbreak of a disease called Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome. HPS is an infectious disease that causes flu-like symptoms that progress rapidly and can be potentially life-threatening. The disease is spread by certain species of rodents, particularly rats and mice. Recent outbreaks have been reported in rural areas of the western United States. People who live and or work where rodents live are particularly susceptible. For more information regarding this serious, potentially fatal disease, tune in and keep watching while we tell you everything you need to know. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Rodina Anderson, and I'm an expert on diseases caused by rodents. I'm here to tell you today how to prevent yourselves from getting Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome, or HPS. First, make sure you watch out for mice and rats, such as the deer mouse, white-footed mouse, cotton rat, and rice rat. Also, be careful of droppings or nesting materials, such as this. Make sure you keep your house and garage clean. You can do this by sealing up all holes and setting traps inside and outside the house. If you notice rat or mice droppings, you should clean them up. First, put on latex gloves, then wet the contaminated area so you do not stir up the dust particles. You can clean the area with 10% bleach or any household disinfectant. When you are done, bury or burn the cleaning materials and wash your hands thoroughly before and after taking off your gloves. If you develop a fever, deep muscle aches, or severe shortness of breath after coming into contact with rodents or their droppings, see a doctor immediately. Currently, there are no specific cures, treatments, or vaccinations. But if you suspect that you have Hantavirus Pulmonary Syndrome, your doctor may prescribe antibiotics until HPS is confirmed. If HPS is confirmed, go to the hospital immediately. You may be put on oxygen therapy to make sure that you do not have respiratory distress. Thank you for sharing with us today, Dr. Anderson. Now I have a few questions that have been emailed to me by viewers at home. Jenna Marbles from Harlem, New York asks, how long is Hantavirus infectious in the environment? It depends on the environment. The virus is viable for two to three days at room temperature. And finally, Barack Obama from Washington, D.C. asks, can you contract HPS from the toss of soda pop cans? There's no evidence that HPS can be spread by soda cans. <coughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Seuss. What can I help you with today? I've been running a really high fever, I've had a headache, and my muscles ache everywhere. And I have a bad cough. <coughs> well, did anything unusual happen to you in the past few days? Well... Well, the other day, whenever I was making dinner in the kitchen, I saw a mouse by the door. Oh, what is that? I'm a mouse, duh. So then I went to the hardware store and bought a mouse. As I was setting it, the mouse went right up to me and bit me. I'm pretty sure you might have Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome. I'll perform the ELISA test, which detects the viral proteins in your blood. So I'm sure of this diagnosis before we do anything. <coughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Seuss. How can I help you to... Don't today? touch me. days I've felt really nauseated and dizzy and I have a hard time catching my breath. I don't know what's wrong. Well, this is simple. I think you might have antivirus pulmonary syndrome. Can you recall coming in contact with any rodents lately? Well, a few days ago I was sweeping the house and I came across these little brown things. I picked them up thinking they were some kind of candy that the kids dropped. I'm pretty sure it was mouth poop so I scooped it up and threw it in the trash. Antivirus pulmonary syndrome is a disease in which the pathogen 
enters the body through the respiratory route, and it does this through a process called aerosolization, which is where the pathogen becomes dust particles which are inhaled. So once the pathogen enters the body, it attaches to the receptor site along the cell. Once the pathogens bind to the receptor sites, transcription is initiated with the L protein along with these three nucleocapsid species, which are nmRNA, lmRNA, and mmRNA, and these are translated into the endoplastic reticulum. After this, the G1 and G2 glycoproteins make heterodimers, which are proteins composed of two different polypeptide chains. And then these are transported into the Golgi complex. At this point, the virus begins overcoming the host defenses. The virus does this by avoiding circulatory antibodies and cytotoxic T cells and enters the host directly in the lungs. In the lungs, the virus infects the macrophages and endothelial cells first so that they cannot fight back. Here's where the damage is done. The virus attacks the alveolar macrophages and endothelial cells in the lungs. The damaged endothelium causes an increase in permeability of the capillaries, which leads to a protein-rich edema throughout the body, and this causes the severe respiratory distress. The virus does not exit the host and has never been known to transmit through human-to-human -human interaction. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Because HPS is coming for you.